So what I've got here is a 30 volt or 0 to 30 volt up to 3 amp power supply. It's a laboratory power supply. You got your fine adjustment and your coarse adjustment knobs. It cost about 45 bucks ship. That's US dollars. It even uh, got uh, a fan on the back that will turn on, it says here, after um, the uh, internal heat sink reaches about 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, it got a fuse there, external fuse. You could easily swap that. It's 3.15 amps. Output power is up to 90 watts. Uh, which makes sense. The input power is a little higher, it's 125 watts maximum, which suggests that this is actually not very efficient, but actually it doesn't really matter because you don't have the laboratory power supply to be efficient. You're designing a new product or something, and you just want that thing to work and have some kind of accurate um, reading. Quite a famous YouTuber. I forgot his name right now, but he makes all kinds of um, Arduino and solar and super capacitor projects and he had the same power supply it was not branded QJE and it also had a different part number it was, but it looked exactly the same from front and back and he took it apart to change the potentiometers in there because they broke and um, he found out that there are some potentiometers in here hidden some other ones the blue ones you can find here and you could actually increase the maximum output current. Um, that thing is up to 3 amps and uh, if you short circuit it or like try to apply a higher load to it, it will actually go to about 3.2 amps or my exact model, which is kind of malicious because that suggests that that thing is not exactly tuned to 3 amps in software or something. And that could suggest that it could actually do a little more. And in fact, there's another model uh, out there it's a 5 amp model, looks exactly the same, actually weighs the same, that's very, very, very malicious, and it costs a hundred bucks. That's just crazy. They rip you off so bad, it's just a little potentiometer you have to turn in order to get like 45 bu uh, 55 bucks. Man. Well, also, the uh, transformer in here is kind of big for... Um, for uh, up to 90 watts. This is switching power supply and yeah it could be that it switches at about like I don't know 50 kilohertz and it's a low frequency but you can't hear anything so it should be about like more than 30 kilohertz and also um, I don't think that they would put like old switching devices in here and uh, invest more into copper. I actually think that this uh, transformer is capable of doing much more. That thing could actually push out up to 200 watts or something in some other kind of configuration so I would guess that the internals are exactly the same with the 5 amp model it's just yeah the little setting you have to change but by the way what I saw was quite nice is that they actually have um, a 450 volt capacitor on the input side usually you need about 400 volt capacitors and when you're handling 230 volt AC to uh, smooth it out on the primary side of the switch mode power supply but um, for 50 volts it's very good because it's gonna make that thing last longer I know it's generic ching chung Chinese I don't know it doesn't even say 105 degrees Celsius on here so it might just be like the cheapest thing they could get but if at least the voltage rating is okay then I don't care and you can see it's through hole design and single sided it's very easy to um, change a capacitor if something should go wrong and the YouTuber marked out that you should change this capacitor. It's 50 volt, 440, uh, 470 microfarads. You should probably put like, I don't know, another 50 volt quality capacitor in there, Panasonic or um, some other um, high quality brand. Uh, because that one is very cheap. It doesn't really do the job right. Um, there should be a lot of ripple on the outside. Some people uh, say, I haven't tested it. So I don't know, but it works for my um, everyday use yeah overall the design looks quite nice I can't see if they have like enough spacing on the back for um, like um, separating primary from the secondary but well I would guess they have I mean at least they got enough space on the PCB but what kind of upset me is that they actually put like the output switching transistor 
and the input switching transistor on the same exact heatsink. Um, I mean, they've got a separator in here, like, I don't know if it's okay for like a few kilovolts because actually you need separation for up to four kilovolts uh, as far as I know and I don't think that plate is okay for that probably they uh, thought about something when they did that I don't know I mean I bought that thing from a reputable um, German um, electronic seller and actually they didn't rip you off at all I mean you get many sellers that really really take it from the living as we say in German and I probably mail them and tell them that they can just um, like turn the potentiometers themselves and sell it as a 5 amp supply or as a modded 5 amp supply. And they actually do that because they get their own PCB design uh, in house. They um, do uh, their own like small um, do it yourself soldering kits and stuff. So they probably just got a guy there sitting turning potentiometers all day long and increasing the price. Actually, the price of this guy uh, went up quite a bit. Now it's about 55 bucks shipped because um, many people bought it because it's just a good deal. So, um, yeah, it's quite accurate. I found out the voltage reading on here is very accurate. The amp reading is as well. So um, I'm not going to mess with these two potentiometers up here because that's, um, that's I think it's adjusting voltage and that's adjusting current or the other way around. So yeah, I'm just going to get this cruise out of here and um, get the little PCB out of there in order to um, turn the potentiometers. And also be aware that this input capacitor could be charged if you used a power supply before. That's 400 volts at peak amperage of, I don't know, a few hundred amps possibly, so it can definitely kill you. So now we're just going to see uh, if we're still going to get an accurate reading. Uh, when we increase the current So yeah, take that thing hope it does not blow up And it does not That's quite good, so we're at Current 3.26 amps as I said and it's accurate and now we're gonna increase that potential motor setting Now can we turn it? Well, that doesn't do anything. That's probably a maximum voltage if they also sell 15 volt version. And we turned the potentiometer and now we're at 4.6 amps. That's quite good. And actually, I'm not really um, afraid of increasing the maximum output current because I'm not gonna, um, yeah, we'll take that thing and um, use it at uh, like 30 volts and 5 amps. So it's just a high current, not a high voltage I need, and uh, thereby there's not going to be too much wattage through the transformer, it's just going to be a high current that might make problems, but I think it does not. And also, uh, it's got a little fan here, which is um, thermally controlled, and yeah, that should switch on at the right time, I hope. So um, I expected more. I expected a clear five amp readout, but um, it was four point five something amps. That's a little disappointing, but still better than the three amps you got out of it the first time. Meaning, yep, you increased the maximum output of that thing by about fifty percent, and that's very good. So yeah, put that thing back together, and you're good to go. So see you next time, guys. I hope that helped you.